Learn all about what's new in the MSSQL extension for Visual Studio Code, including an exciting example, including GitHub Copilot, including edit data, and more. This week on Data Exposed. Hi, I'm Anna Hoffman, and welcome back to Data Exposed. Today, I'm joined by Carlos. Carlos, thanks so much for coming back on Data Exposed. Hey, Anna, thanks for having me again. Really excited to be here today again. We're always excited to have you because you always teach us about the latest things going on in VS Code in the SQL mm -hmm. space. I know you lead the MSSQL extension and all our integrations with GitHub Copilot. And so let's get right into it. I'd love to know what's new. Yeah, absolutely. So let me start by sharing my screen. There we go. Um, so one of the th new things, as you can see right off the bat, once you install the latest version of the MSQL extension, and let me just zoom in a little bit here so it looks better, um, you will see this change log. Uh, so in this change log, you, you have an opportunity to learn what are the latest features in the release. So obviously here, the first one we have is GitHub Copilot GA, uh, the integration. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, I'll be sharing some some of the software GitHub Copilot, but also we introduce other features like edit data and backpack backpack. One of the most requested features in our GitHub repo. This is a way for our users to get familiar quickly with the new features we are introducing on every single release. So by clicking here, you can go to the docs or uh, you can watch our demos on YouTube, uh, get into the discussions in our repo and more walk through. So this is a new place. And if you don't like it, that's a good thing. You can just I click on here and say, don't show me this again. Uh, so um, yeah, that's it. That's the newest thing. So I think we can jump directly to discuss about GitHub Copilot. What do you think? Yeah, I want to know all about it. I know we've done some episodes on it, but for folks who, who maybe haven't seen those episodes or are kind of ramping back up into it, like, what is this all about? Yeah. So we introduced a new way to get started with GitHub Copilot. Uh, in previous episodes, I believe I shared an option that we have. You can just like do a right click on the database and then select one of the options here that says open in ask mode or agent mode, and it will have the context of your database. But some of the feature we receive is that what happens when you are new and you don't know how to start. So we introduced a new way to onboard our customers when uh, there is no context whatsoever for the uh, GitHub Copilot session. So let me show you how it works. All right, so from here, so this is a new window, as you can see. Um, and let's say you are starting in ask mode, why not? And uh, you want to engage with the MSQL extension and ask questions about uh, this database. Uh, so if I just do list all databases here, or all, let's say all tables, you will see what happens um, in the past. It was a little bit confusing for our customers because um, there was no guidance here for them to get started. And now you can see that it's telling me, hey, it looks like you are not connected to any database. And that's one of our requirements. So that's how GitHub Apollo gets, um, understands the schema. So by simply clicking this button, I can select the connection and or the database I want to use. And I can just ask the same question again. So I can do list. Um, Tables, why not? And this time it should work. So it, it detects if there is no context or any active connection. So it, it's a better experience now. Uh, we got a lot of feedback that it was a little bit confusing how the context works. And now, as you can see, it's working. It's connected to a master database, but for demo purposes, I guess that's fine. Let's change the database here to library. And I can also change from here. And that's something I show you during the last episode that we have flash commands. It helps you to switch databases. So lots of stuff. Uh, so very, very excited. Something new, something simple, but very powerful and helpful for new users. Um, so let's move on to discover something else. So I don't know if you remember during the last episode, and let me just change, move things around. I show you this app. So you have this library management application. It's very simple. It has just books and authors management. I can add books, new authors, and it looks great. Um, and I was able to add new features and stuff, but uh, it looks like it's missing something very common nowadays in, in applications like this. 
what if I want to get some recommendations about certain books? For example, if I am in not too much into science fiction, as you can see, this is very heavy in science fiction, <laughs> but I want to explore adventure work, books. Um, so I, I don't have a way, just like type in here. But yeah, it looks like there is an opportunity here that I can make this application AI ready. And obviously the extension can help you with that. Obviously GitHub Copilot can help you with that. But more importantly, SQL Server 2025 uh, provides users with a lot of AI ready capabilities and I can take advantage of that. So I'm going to introduce vector search here and you will see me how easy is this. So I'm, I will start by using Copilot in agent mode. So let's copy the prompt here and let's open our session. Let's close this real quick. Open our session and I'm going to switch to agent mode. And in this time, I am going to ask GitHub Copilot to describe one of my existing tables. Why I'm doing this? Because as I mentioned a few seconds ago, I want to modify my schema to be compatible with these AI capabilities I want to introduce. Uh, so right here, it's it's giving me the structure, and uh, as 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 an alternative, if you want to do it like that, you can open it here on, on OE and just simply navigate through the different columns of the table. So you see that my table has four columns, and it's not AI ready at this point. So okay, I understand that this is not AI ready. So what I need to do is by simply asking GitHub Copilot here. And let me just zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to say that I want to add search, uh, semantic search capabilities, and I want GitHub Copilot to do that for me. So it's going to perform the alter table statement over that table, and it's going to add one column that's going to be the one I'm going to use to store the vector uh, data type, in this case, embeddings. Uh, and I believe you already had like multiple guests in the show that explained how this works. So I'm not going to get into the details of these. Hopefully our, our audience are already uh, very familiar with this, but what I want to show you is how easy it is. And so it's done. It looks like my author is done. Of course, I can ask GitHub Group to show me a table again, or I can just simply refresh here, go to columns. Oops, not to refresh it. There we go. The books table, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, what? What's going on? No <laughs> Thank you. Um, there we go. So we have description embedding. This is a vector data type. And here's the dimension. OK, so I did something off camera because we're short in time. So what I did was using GitHub Copilot again and taking advantage that it understands my database, I come up with these couple of Python scripts to help me generate the embeddings first for the table, and then a simple chat service where I can ask the question that I mentioned at the beginning. What if I am into adventure? I want to get some recommendations about adventure books. So yeah, this is it. This is how we're going to do it. I'll, of course, I have a, a local model running here on this dev container. So what I need to do next is uh, simply run my Python script. So let me run my Python script here. Backfill. And this is going to take a few seconds. Whoa, boo. What? That was quick. I was expecting that it was going to take <laughs> a little bit longer, but it looks like the, the embeddings are done. How can we um, validate that? Once again, we can ask our body um, GitHub Copilot to explore the data in our table and show me the five first books. Just make sure that the embeddings are done. And it says, yes, the embeddings are there. So you can see that. I'm not even running queries. I'm just asking with natural language. Awesome. Can you check for me if the books tables has embeddings and it understands, oh yeah, that's a table that the column would just add and it has embedding. So ready to go. So let me um, start my chat service. And that's going to be oh, Python. And the chat service has something here that I believe other guests already explained in the show before. I'm going to take advantage of the vector distance, vector distance functionality here. And uh, by running this, I should be able to get answers to my questions using natural language. 
So it's taking a few seconds to start and it looks like it's ready. All right, so let me jump into my chat endpoints. Uh, so you have like these HTTP um, command that I'm, I'm called that I'm making to my chat endpoint. So what I want to hear here uh, to get here is a response based on this question that I simply want some recommendations about adventure books. And what I got back is, yeah, it's correct. So Invisible Man, you remember from the from, from the website that it was one of the adventure titles. So yeah, it looks like it's working. So it was very simple, super quick, and I combine multiple technologies here. I take advantage, by the way, I didn't mention this, but I'm using the new um, Python driver for these Python scripts, the new for that is compatible with vector data types and SQL Server 2025. So I'm trying to combine all different texts here and come up with something simple by using GitHub Copilot, understanding my schema and all set. Awesome. I uh, I learned a lot. This is a really cool sample, Carlos. Uh, not for folk, not just for folks who are getting started, but folks for who are you know looking to be inspired. Sometimes I talk about that. Like so, I love this example because it really helps people understand like, oh, I want to add new functionality. Um, how can I do that? Mm -hmm. How can I use GitHub Copilot for that? And then how does it, you know, it just kind of works with SQL so I can uh, be productive uh, more quickly. Uh, so I love to see it. Um, of course, I got to ask you if that sample is mm -hmm. on GitHub so people can play with it or. It is, it is. Um, I need to make sure we uh, we drop the links in the, okay. description, uh, the video description. So yeah, it is available on GitHub. Yeah. Awesome. Great. Okay. So to our viewers, uh, Carlos, thanks so much for coming on the show. To our viewers, uh, go try this out. And, you know, like Carlos yeah. said, uh, or maybe he didn't say, but if you have feedback, you can give us feedback. We'll leave a link to our uh, our GitHub for that as well. Um, so if you like yeah. this episode, go ahead, give it a like, leave us a comment, let us know what you think. Mm -hmm. And we hope to see you next time on Data Exposed.